Welcome to the world of Mother 3. Nowhere Islands. Tasmili Village. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. Home of Alec, Hinoa's father. Lucas, how long are you going to sleep? Get up so we can play. Get up already. The dragons brought their babies over. They're really cute. Hurry up. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Lucas. Klaus has been up for a while, playing with the Dragos. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. But Mom... Then you can stay inside, in your pajamas, for the rest of your life. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. Okay, fine. I surrender! I surrender! Ugh! Not bread! Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. You're awake, Clock. You late, Riser. All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go move. It'd be handy to remember that. Don't worry about it. What 
the pig next to me says worries me. A story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories. And in turn become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you will forget them. So please tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. That is what people refer to as saving. Now then. Save your game. Nah, not right now. Oh, I see. Well, please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Fighting with the dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. If it's okay. Here, try ramming into a drago. into them, the more the dragos like it. Move it! Out of my way! Make way for the great mole cricket! I 
just can't sit idly by when I hear somebody play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of ya! Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain! Oh yeah! Should we be doing this? Come at me! <laughs> this is great! I'll take a bite out of ya! He's just a cricket. Oh, it's okay, Lucas. You got me! I see you got more of a spine than a thaw! If you like, I could train you personally sometime! Next time we meet, it'll be at the Mole Cricket Hall Stadium! I look forward to seeing you there, bro! I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's alright. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made you your favorite, boys. Omelets! You too, Dad. No, then. Listen, folks. Here is how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh? Omelets? Then your favorite's the same as ours?
We make a good match. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids could make it here on their own. It's that safe. Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled, but neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmili Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite omelets right away. With love, your dearest Tinoa. 